being a sexual athlete that you was at Roosevelt High School, why did you pick the uh, University of Illinois? You know what? Uh, in interesting. Um, I was highly recruited for football coming out of um, East Chicago Roosevelt. And uh, I was within maybe seconds of signing with the uh, University of Wisconsin in Madison <coughs> as a defensive back. And uh, one of my best friends in high school, Jim Bradley, the same day I was thinking about signing with Wisconsin, he was thinking about going to the University of Michigan. At that time, Michigan came down, they came down from Ann Arbor, they offered me a full baseball scholarship and Bradley a basketball scholarship. And they said I could go out for spring football if I wanted to. And I decided, Bradley, that's a good idea. We're making arrangements now to go up into Michigan. And uh, Bob Stearns, uh, Jerry Apollody, uh, a guy named Deacon Jones uh, came into town. And, uh, they sold us on the idea of going to Northern Illinois in the camp. They didn't even, had never heard of this place before. Uh, what was so intriguing about it, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud to say it, even though I know the statute of limitations have since run out. I mean, we didn't commit a uh, crying of nature, but what they offered us, they said, listen, if you guys decide to go to Northern, whoever you think might want to go to Northern will give them a scholarship. Carl, do you know that we took maybe 20 to 25 high school seniors from East Chicago and Gary to Northern on full scholarships as non-student athletes, wow. as just plain students, and quite a few of them graduated. Uh, Northern uh, gave a lot of people an opportunity to, to go to school and continue their education because of our commitment to sign a letter of intent. Name, name some of the best athletes you ever witnessed at Roosevelt High School. And then after you name your athletes, um, tell me where you rank at among them. Um, so let's say quarterback. The best quarterback you've ever seen. The best quarterback I've ever seen at Roosevelt? Or just or Roosevelt or, or period. I played against a guy, he was a quarterback of Potowski, and, and I may have misspelled or mispronounced his name, but he was a quarterback at Hammond High, and we played against him in our senior year, and Hammond High was known for just passing. He was left-handed, and uh, he may have been the, 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 the best quarterback that I actually played against, but the best quarterback to never play quarterback at East Chicago, in East Chicago, was Leonard Dardell. Back then, we're talking about in the 68, 69, where, again, it was un... It was just, it was unspeakable for black to be a quarterback. It didn't happen. I mean, it just, it just wasn't in the cards. Blacks didn't play quarterback. So he ended up being a running back that started. That could have been the best quarterback. He could throw a football at 68, 80 yards on the run. So uh, that was the best quarterback that I know. He was our pop on the quarterback. Uh, didn't hurt none. He was a first cousin of man, but he was a, he was a real quarterback, and he would have set the prototype of what you see as a quarterback today. He had the size, he had the agility, uh, and, and he could run and pass. But you didn't have a quarterback to run. It was you couldn't be a quarterback then. You had to be a pocket 
quarterback that brought back at the court. And, and, and coming from East Chicago Roosevelt, if we threw 20 passes in a season, in a season, not in a game, in a season, something was very wrong. We were losing. And very seldom were we losing. So we just didn't throw passes. And it, and it was so unique about this whole situation. Every time we did have to throw a pass, it was an option pass. Halfback pass, where they would either flip it to me and I would throw it, or they would flip it to Knox and he would throw it on the other side. Except for those last three games when they put me in at quarterback, where uh, they put in some passing plays. And those plays were designed to go 50, 60 yards as a, at a pop, where I would roll out and just unleash. So uh, I didn't have the opportunity to play with a lot of people that I consider good quarterbacks back in high school. Now, let's go to a serious topic, running back. You was a running back, and you also named some other guys. Well, who's the best running back you've ever seen at East Chicago? Well, you know, um, Kenny Woods, David Warner, as a high school running back, Billy Knox. You know, you weren't a bad back yourself. Uh, I mean, honestly. Martel France. And, and, and I really hate to get into naming them because I, I know I've, I've, I've missed a few, but just off the top of my head, you know, those are some people that will always uh, stand out. Even um, he went on and played at um, Wisconsin. At Wisconsin. On um, um, Royce Robertson. Yep. Yeah. Royce was pretty good, you know. Uh, and, and, they, and you guys were big backs. I mean, Big bats with, with, with uh, speed and, and, and as they say that intestinal fortitude, like uh, you punish people. Yeah? And, you know, it made it hard for a guy to want to tackle you next time you come through that hole. So those are, you know, I, I, just off the top of my head without purposely omitting anybody, uh, I, I, those, that, that, that stands out. Um, now, um, East Chicago Washington, East Chicago Roosevelt had a big, big old rivalry going. Yeah. And I hear names like Lucky Smith. Lucky Smith, I want to include him in that. Um, yeah. Lucky was, 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 was just a beast. Yeah. Um, then you know, also, you know, yourself, Cedric Florence, Robert Florence. My brother. Uh, I don't know how, you know, if, if, if he, you know, and I, I get credit when credit is due. Uh, this, the things that Robert did, a lot of people were never able to accomplish and never will be able to accomplish. And I give him credit. He was put under a situation where he had to do well. Because they say you're a Duke's brother. And so it was just instilled on him, you're going to be better than him. And he took it to another level. He really did. Uh, you know, me and him joke about it a lot. Robert was a damn good back. Okay. My grandfather made a statement one day to me. Um, and I was, I was fortunate to be around him. Cause, you know, he gave me a lot of feedback on everybody that ever. And he said that Duke Florence is the best athlete to ever come to the city of Chicago. Um, but Robert Florence is the best running back. Uh, how do you feel about that comment? I'll tell you something. Your grandfather didn't miss a game. He knew us from age six. Followed me and my family and my brothers, all of us, through our high school and college career. He knew an athlete. He coached athletes. So uh, it's an honor for him to even say that with me in that speech. Um, I evaluate myself more so now than back then because I, I, uh, I didn't know how great or good or whatever you want to call it. I may have been because you usually judge by your peers, but um, uh, when I look at it now, uh, I would probably have considered myself an athlete. So because I played every sport and I played every sport well. 
I took up golf. I was able to, to perform in that. I, I messed with soccer when I was in, 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 in at Northern. Uh, you know, so uh, I had athletic skills. So if he said that I, I may have been uh, one of the best athletes to ever come out of this. No, he didn't say the best. He said the the, the best. The best. Yes. Uh, the best. I, 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 I'm just overwhelmed just from that compliment alone. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but uh, I thank you. Uh, you know. And, and I have to respect his opinion. I, I gladly wear that title. Uh, 